to wash it off first. It's all dirty on the bottom. Yeah, I'll spray it. Do you want me to put it on so my... The, so the, your yard foreman just showed up. My yard foreman? Yeah. Who, Mom? <laughs> you need to clean the bottom of that bench off. <laughs> That's a pretty good paint job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that water thing over there, bottle over there? You, know? you, see, you see on that bench over there? Oh, God, here uh -huh. we go. Yep, yep. You see that little hole there that's in the bench? Yeah. It didn't get painted. It Which yes, one? It, did. it shows white. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It's green from my angle. I yes, think you're hallucinating again. got a pause in the machine noise I'm gonna come out here and show you guys what's going on so they're digging out our septic tank and putting in a new one so this is the first step apparently taking it out these are the two tanks that are gonna be going in the ground that will hold a lot of poop So here is our yard now. Here is the big giant hole, <laughs> one of them anyway. They got this dug, and they've got that half in. And then they still have to put that other huge tank that was on the back of that truck has to go uh, down there somewhere. <laughs> Not 100% sure where, but that's where it's going to go. So, yeah, we're here tonight. We have water, but we can't really use it because we can't drain anything out. Or it's just going to, I don't know, pour out underneath the building or something. We don't want that, so... Uh, yeah, we got a little porta potty up there, and there'll be no showering in the house tonight. But we're supposed to get it done tomorrow, and living like the old times. Living like the old times. We're hoping it's done tomorrow. <laughs> septic system being torn out so we can't like drain any water at all we do have running water but we really can't use it because we can't drain it down any of the sinks we can't flush the toilets we have a porta potty out in the driveway <laughs> that's where we've been going to the bathroom all day and then look at my poor poor kitchen because we can't actually do the dishes and uh, they, Dave is a firm believer that they need to be, well, they can't sit in the dishwasher with all this crud all over them. Um, you know, so we've wiped them down as well as we could and we've got them soaking in buckets of water. So apparently there's some fear of cave-in and I have been told to stay way back out of sight. So that's what I'm doing. They're not bringing in that big tank yet, but I do want to get some shots of that. He said I could stand back here. As long as he and I couldn't see each other, we were good to go. So <laughs> I think they're just moving some dirt now, but I'll keep you posted. So this is what we're left with tonight. Still no running toilet. 
No water hookups. But it should be done tomorrow. And it looks like they got everything in just fine. Nothing's broken. There was nothing to be panicked about. So here is where we are at the end of three days. So we at least have water services back on in the house. So we can actually like flush the toilets and wash the dishes and and do that kind of stuff. So, um, however, we're not completely hooked up. Uh, there still needs to be a drain field um, dug down there and then all of this piping that is going around. And apparently this from the gutter, they need to... They have to dig a trench down there so that it runs off way over there. Anyway, I don't understand all of it. Dave probably understands it a little more than I do. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is where we are. They're coming to pick up the porta potty There it is, way over there. But, yeah, so I guess it was a challenging job because this is a very narrow um part of the yard so anyway sit on day seven. <laughs> For a two-day job, it's definitely taken a little bit longer than that. Uh, they're still not done. They did finally get it inspected yesterday, and apparently everything is now running the way it's supposed to be running, although we're still not allowed to do laundry or that kind of stuff. So... Hopefully somebody will show up here tomorrow and they'll get some dirt in here and then it needs to be seeded all the way back. It needs to be reseeded and then we're going to have to water it apparently. So we're putting grass and clover in um, because that's the best mixture for aeration over a septic tank. So yeah. What do you mean I should? Isn't that one of mother's jobs? <laughs> You're supposed to be taking... It jumped right over me. <laughs> it's your... <laughs> You're supposed to be taking your camera and wearing it and walking down. I told her I would not walk around this park with that stupid ass thing on her head. You wouldn't walk with her? Nope. <laughs> why? Listen to that why. <laughs> you can whine all you want. It ain't happening. But why? Because you look goofier than shit. I do not look goofier than... You put that thing on there and put it on your head and tell him go look in the I mirror. I did a video. Did you not see the video? No. He doesn't watch my videos. I do. When you I get around to it. One, when you get around to she it. She videoed herself wearing that thing with her hair. And if she didn't out. look goofier than hell, her right? Her hair was sticking up all over the the hair is sticking up all over the place. So, I don't care if I look goofy. And goofy. I do. <laughs> Why? That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be embarrassed to be seen in public with me. <laughs> with that get up, mate. Yeah. <laughs> what if I wear a tutu? Because the first... <laughs> Oh, that'd probably bring them all out. Uh... <laughs> 
Did you see her? Did you see her in a tutu and that stupid ass camera on her head? <laughs> and my knee braces. And, and your knee braces. Yeah, those, those are attractive too. <laughs> like what? Or something. You weren't supposed to take pictures of people's homes. I'm not gonna take pictures of their homes. Well, what the hell are you gonna walk around with that stupid ass camera on your head for then? <laughs> She's going to walk around and take pictures of the clouds <laughs> in different areas of the park. Isn't that beautiful? And Look, a tree. Look at the trees. She can take pictures of the cows across the way. There ain't no cows. <laughs> can I have those? Thanks. Why? Is that bothering you? Crazy. Huh? Yes. God. <laughs> but she'll sit in public middle. with a stupid ass thing on her head <laughs> and talk to herself. <laughs> that don't bother. But Dave holding the on tapping it on it and everything else, that bothers. Well, you're not just tapping it, you're like shuffling so it. So what? It drives me crazy. Don't shuffle things. I have to close my windows in my office here. Because I hear her out here talking. And I'm going, who the hell is she talking to? And I look out there, she's been for that thing with her head in a plant. And it's kind of talking away, and it's like, oh, they must be friends. I don't know. If you talk to your plants, they grow better. That's right. Well, that's kind of morbid, don't you think? You're going to be kind to them, and you're going to eat them. <laughs> that's how you repay their kindness. <laughs> oh, you're such a beautiful carrot. Yes. Or you a beautiful tomato, or whatever. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As they're screaming. Thank you, know, you for feeding me. You know, they have voices, too. They do, and I listen to them all. All while they grow. You know, I believe that part. <laughs> <laughs> so that's him, Charlie there the is gnome. No such, there, there is no gnome named Charlie. Yes, there is. He's right there. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he should be called? I, I don't know. Poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to call him that. <laughs> So yeah, that's where we sit a week later. Um, we still don't have the septic system done. It was supposed to be a two-day job that turned into uh, apparently a nightmare. Uh, who knows why, but anyway. Anyway, it should be finished next week. <laughs> I know I've been saying that through the whole video since day two, that it's going to be done tomorrow, but we're no longer saying tomorrow, we're saying next week. Hopefully. And then, of course, we've got to try and grow some grass there right in the heat of summer. So that's going to kind of suck. But you got to get grass on there. Grass and clover because it grows so fast and it's an excellent ground cover. Those are the best things to put out there. They actually say that you can put bulbs out there, too. But I don't think I'll bother with any of that. But they recommend a mixture of grass and micro clover and clover. And there were a few other things um, that help with the aeration over top of a septic field, and I love clover, so that's what's going in there. <laughs> Yay! Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. So take care of yourself, take care of your family, stay home if you can. Um, please don't get sick. <laughs> um, I will see you soon. Bye now.